What is going on with my hair? Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. So I was asked in my last video to give a quick sort of guide to mounted setups. So I'm going to try and cover this as brief as possible because I don't want to be going on too long for the video. However, you can feel free to message me. I know you've got me on Facebook, buddy. If you want to message me on there for more detailed information, or if anyone requires more detailed information, let me know. I'll do a slightly longer video. So basically what you want to look into is how to house them. So you can use critter keepers, you can use sweet jars, you can use exoterras if you want to spend out a little bit more. You can even use netted cages, providing it's not a species that needs high humidity. If it needs high humidity, don't use a netted cage because the moisture is not going to stay in the enclosure. So substrate, we'll start from the bottom. Substrate, you can just use a kitchen towel if you want to, just a white roll kitchen towel. Makes it really, really easy to clean, doesn't look very nice. Um, if you're going to use a soil based substrate or a coca fibre, I highly recommend you get springtails. Mantids can be a little bit messy, they can leave bits of the prey in the bottom, um, they'll poo and so on and also with humidity levels in the coca fibre or soil based substrate, it can bring out mould growth. So you need those springtails in there to, to be your clean up crew for it, to tackle all that mess and, and any mould growth that's going to be in there. Um, then you also need a molting platform, so I always use it at the very, very top. So if you've got a sweet jar, for example, put a bit of netting or mesh, either glue some mesh into the sweet jar lid, place a bit of netting over and screw the lid on. They need a molting platform and always provide twigs as well, twigs or branches, something that will give some sort of molting platform. They won't always necessarily use the very, very top, so having some branches in as well will help. The reason they need that height is because they need to be able to molt upside down. A mounted will go upside down, come out of its old skin, and it will shed through that way. So if you haven't got sufficient height, say the top of the screen here is, is the, the top and your mounted's this big, it's gonna hang upside down, and when it starts coming out of its skin, oh, it's gonna buckle, it's gonna die, it's gonna be fatal. So you need to have, that's why they say three times the height. Um, in some cases, some are just stupid and they'll molt on the lower end of a, of a vertical branch and it's devastating. Um, you shouldn't really interrupt them on a molt, but if that's going to happen, they are going to more than likely die. So you may need to kind of like, don't move them in case they fall, because falling is also fatal. Just kind of maybe move the branch the other way. I've had to do it before. Anyway, we can go into that on another video. So if you're having a cocoa fibre substrate, add some springtails. If you're using kitchen roll, that's fine. Make sure the kitchen roll is kept sort of moist but not soaking wet. That will keep your humidity levels up. They do not need a water bowl. Simply mist the enclosure now and again to give them sufficient water and they will drink from the water droplets on the side of the enclosure. Decoration is just what you want. I decorate them because I like to decorate them. You don't have to. Providing they've got things to climb, things to molt from, any other decoration is not really that important unless you just want it to look cool or try and adapt it to their original environment. Um, smaller mounted can be kept in the, the deli cups and things like that, absolutely fine. Um, I don't tend to make my enclosures for mounted look particularly nice and cool until they're at least sort of a sub-adult sort of stage. When they're really, really tiny, especially if you end up with an ooth and you end up with loads and loads of babies, you ain't going to have time to set big and nice enclosures up for each of them you're just going to have to put them in small little cups each time as long as they've got three times the height and something to grip onto, that's why I recommended the mesh. So that's a very quick sort of guide to setting up your mounted. Now we are actually going to be rehousing another one today. Um, they're currently in this. Um, the bit laying on the bottom of the plants was actually vertical, um, but she's knocked it down. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with this enclosure. This mounted's grown up in this enclosure from sort of like L4, L5 stage been perfectly fine reached adulthood and she is fine i just don't like it i don't like the enclosure i don't like the blue lid it, something about it really 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 bugs me it's the only reason we're rehousing her today she's actually she hangs around the bottom quite a lot if you can see her there so i always forget the scientific name for these I'm, i'll butcher it anyway but this is a madagascan marbled that's the common name for these 
Um, again, we've got another adult female here. I never had a male for these. This was a trine of trial and error species that I picked up just to see how well I could do because they're reasonably easy to look after and um, never had any trouble with this old gal here at all. So let's set up a new enclosure. she is she is uh really skits this one so she may well run off here she is that's our girl See they get their name from that sort of marble effect that she's got there. Let's pop her in. So I popped a cricket in there. Let's see if she'll take to it. And that's all for today's video guys. I hope that brief description at the start of uh, Mantis setups was good enough for you. Like I said, if you wanted anything more in depth, I'll do a full video based on that if you'd like. Anyway, so that was our Mad Madagascan, yeah, Madagascan marbled Mantis all settled into her new enclosure. So that's it from me. Thank you very much everyone. If you like the video and you're new, please hit that subscribe, please like, please leave a comment. You guys all know by now how much all that means to me, so I ain't going to go through it all. Take care. Bye bye.